What's poppin', y'all? This is the one and only kid, Jeremiah. We out here in NYC, baby. Having a good time. Beautiful day. This is definitely the place to be. Summer Jam was just yesterday, man. An incredible show. I've been signed for, what, two years now? And I got an opportunity to participate in a Summer Jam two years ago. I came out on Jada Kiss set. You know, I was nervous as hell, yo. I, I really got on stage and my knees were starting to buckle because it was like I never had performed in front of that many faces, in front of that many eyes, 60,000 people that were out there. So to be able to perform yesterday again, I, it was, I was more, you know, subtle. I was really prepared. I think R&B constantly changes. R. Kelly, he kind of, he, he touched R&B at the point where it was starting to evolve. And I think every year is going to evolve. And I think music in general is going to start really leaning towards the dance pop dance because um in this industry like people are really just in, aren't buying music anymore and and for the just true music lovers that just you know appreciate r&b they get that but they're not buying it you know what inspires me the beat you know i get inspired by um a pro production as a musician myself if i hear a dope ass beat it's like it's like my job to make sure i do the right thing on that beat what do i feel made that record down on me popular and what do i feel as an artist to duplicate the success? Well, you know, that record kind of just happened um, spontaneously. You know, I, didn't, I, I knew it was a very special record. Um, and no way do I ever want to duplicate anything I've done before because two years ago, people were talking about birthday sex, or how am I going to top that? And it was just like, I don't know. I just make, cry, create, and I, you know, um, that's, that's my job. But I think that record had everything to do with all the fans. Um, 50 Cent, Keenan Cahill, the YouTube little dude. Shout out to him. He made it. He took it to the to the awareness level that it needed to be heard at. Birthday Sex was number one for one week. Down on Me was number one for like nine weeks on top of the chart. So, just to, just to have, build off that off that high right there, I think it's it's like there's no pressure for me. It's more like inspiration for me. I don't want to duplicate that success. I just want to continue to make you know great records. Um, and and collaborate with more artists. Uh, yo, so I'm looking forward to that. Down on me. Thank y'all for making that number one. I had fun with that record. 50, what up? G Unit, uh, Gold Management, Mix Shots on the beat. Y'all know what it is, man. We just took over. How was the America's Most Wanted tour? That was my first tour. Like, that birthday sex had just dropped, and it was me, it was Soldier, it was Drake, it was Wayne, um, Jeezy. Uh, it was like lines of girls in the front. You know, all these people that I've been fans of over the last couple of years and just to be able to hit the same stage with these people, rock the same crowd and travel around the world. It was a very like incredible experience that I would never forget. Yo, what up? This is Jeremiah and you better reclaim your TV. You are now logged into Karma Loop TV right here. Stay tuned, y'all.